Hello everyone, this is size 14 barbless scrub hawk and the bead I'm using is a gunmetal 3mm tungsten bead. It's a heavy uh, pattern and orange thread. This is a thread uh, fire orange A2 and just start just below the bead and come back. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more weight on it. This is a copper wire actually 0.01 millimeter and also uh, it's gonna I'm gonna shape the body so add a little bit more weight with the wire and come back. Keep coming up. Don't go too close to the bead. And we have to shape the body, so I have to go back and forward a few times with the thread. So create a tapered shape. Unwind your thread. Just wax it so you don't slip. Once you cover all this, and then here I have to work with this fill up this gap here deep so as you can so see I went back and forward to just shape up the body and for the tail I'm using this is a partridge feather actually it's a gray partridge so this is I'm going to add tail with this so if you cut the middle bit as a create a V shape just uh, easier to get the tail you know so this is for the tail actually um this kind of catch it here on top and just take your time with this and I'm just gonna couple of turn and then pull it out so you can see the length we don't want too long that's enough just that's fine and then keep coming up and cut it before it reaches to the wire you know so it will shape up nicely now take this extra piece off so basically yeah that's the tail done now Again, for the body, I'm using this is a Spanflex orange color. Now, this is actually rusty type, uh, rusty orange, so perfect for the this kind of nymph. And I'm gonna catch it again just below the wire, so this will bring a nice shape. Unwind your thread and make sure you use a kind of touching turn all the way down. Take your time here. And then come back. And I'm going to cut this piece off by giving a good stretch. And just make a little smooth body. That's okay. And then bring the thread, bring the spawn flex. And if you could just leave, try to create a segment. Don't stretch too much here because what it is, I want to see a little bit orange in each segment again take your time it makes a very nice with the 
spawn flakes. No. We can't get this on. Just put more thread here to level it. That's enough. I don't want to go too close. Actually, one more turn. Too close to the bead because I need my dubbing in here. Just, uh, just to secure the body, use some varnish or UV raisins. Basically, I don't really want glass effects, so I want visible segment. So I'm just gonna get some off with my hand and then cure it. The best thing is to do uh, now for the varnish. color. I'm gonna use same partridge feather, which is a grey partridge. Now if you can come up loose turn and catch them. Just want this to go around actually or that's fine. Take your time again nice and secure them nicely properly that's fine I'm just putting this before I put my dubbing so I can fold them back you know okay and if you can just move this forward as for the dubbing I'm using, this is a black synthetic dubbing. Now you can use your own dubbing, any hair, hair, or you know, natural hair or synthetic. So just put some on and then move them on either side, all these feathers, because. And basically, let's see, a little bit more, I think, just to get a little buggy look, you know, we need a, it's a great pattern for a deep water, you know, when you're fishing for a, it's actually brown trout or grayling, actually grayling loves this pattern. Any color for a grilling would do, any vibrant color. I'm just trying to get this thread, hide this thread under the dubbing. Now that is good. Pull everything back. And then all you have to do is just to put a tiny bit of Varnish. Couple of turn and just do it finish. What you just have to do is get this dubbing brush and so there we have a carrot nymph great pattern forever i hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching